right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I mentioned, if you're on our YouTube page and you'd like me to explain an item that is in my apartment and give it a little bit of history, we will be glad to do that. But it is time for hate mail. It's the time where you listeners go on our YouTube page and you say very bad things about me and occasionally my co-host and my producer. But we're welcome to entertain it. So uh, Jason Stein is our producer. Jason, take it away. Speaking of junk that's on your wall, Brian, uh, listener Marley writes, LOL, Brian's apartment looks like a dorm room. Imagine being over 40 and living there. Get a wife, Brian. Well, first of all, I'm not over 40, uh, at least not yet. Uh, That's number one. Number two, maybe I don't want a wife. Maybe I want to live the way I want to live, and I don't want to live in a place where somebody else decorates it the way they want to. Did you ever think of that? Number three, what's wrong with a college dorm room? I remember my college days. It was a lot of fun. I was having a really good time. So, uh, no, uh, I don't want to be miserable the rest of my life, and I don't want to live with someone that tells me how I need to decorate my place. So that's the best way I could respond to that. Go ahead, Stein. Phil writes, I'm just glad Brian's not in his robe today. The fact me that he, too, by the way. The yeah, fact, yeah, you aren't the only one, The Phil. fact that he actually mentioned that tells me that he has an image in his head of me in a robe, and he pleasures himself to it every night. And then his wife can't do anything with him. That's what I think. I think he has that image in his head when he goes in the shower, if he does shower. He thinks of me in my robe, and he's providing a disservice to his loved ones. So I think you've got to stop thinking about me in my robe. I know it excites you. I know it gets you excited, and you could put those Viagra pills away now. But uh, start taking those pills again and stop thinking about me. You and your salmon chest are living rent-free in this man's head. Hey, salmon. You're right. Salmon chest is better than a white chest. I Um, still think your chest should have its own Twitter page. I like <laughs> By the way, what's chest. wrong with salmon? I like salmon. There's nothing better than a cream cheese bagel and salmon. I mean, it's great. I love it. It's fantastic. By the way, I had salmon the other day. The Bagel Cafe, I'm giving them a free plug. Great salmon. The over best. There. What? What? They're open? Yeah, I, they deliver. Oh, they do? I yeah. Think. Oh, well, I didn't know that. I mean, it'll cost you $25 yeah, for a sandwich. That, play, but, that yeah. place is great, though. <laughs> I like your pastries. Take the somebody cookies. Take somebody there uh, for, for a meal, and it'll run you like 70 bucks for two people. Yeah, it's, 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 it's insane. Go ahead, Stein. Uh, viewer Nerman writes, I can't stand looking at Shapiro's face. And then one of those emojis where the smiley face is puking. Uh-huh. Hashtag, get Brian off here. Well, wait a second. That, shouldn't that be, that's not accurate. Shouldn't it be get Brian off camera? Wouldn't that make more sense? That would she wants you gone, sense. period. Yeah. So somebody who wants me gone still takes the time to go on our YouTube page and to watch and listen to our show. You are the definition of a loser. I hate the Kardashians. You don't see me going on the Kardashians, watching their show, and commenting, get them off the air. What a God, some people are such losers. Well, she's still trying to get that hashtag trending. It, ha- yeah, good it luck has with that. not happened good yet, but I that. am monitoring. During, nothing nothing uh, more important than a person uh, during a national pandemic. People are dying, and the only thing that's on her mind is hashtag get Brian off the air. She sounds like a very nice, smart person. Michael Riley says, can we do this from JD's house tomorrow? <laughs> no, that wouldn't work. Yeah. No, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work at all. Too many, too many animals floating around. No, and you got a kid. No, and no, no. Just, it's not going to Actually, work. right now, I have a cat, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have a, a, a cat who's very, very well behaved. Yeah. A very well behaved That's not what I saw. It's not what I saw when I was there. That's all I'm saying. It's cat litter everywhere. Cat was all over the place, jumping no, everywhere. It's not what changed. I saw. Okay. That well, is that. Oh, you I, tamed I, the I cat? Have, I have so much more time on my hands now, Brian. <laughs> You've tamed just the like, cat. Just like C.J. Watson, I have time to, to do the chores I said I was going to do that never did. <laughs> You're like Joe Exotic with the cat running around. <laughs> yeah, except, yeah, but my cat's okay. yeah. seven pounds, not Next. 10,000. Earlier on the show, we had Michael Avenatti's uh, attorney on. Uh, Susan writes, Brian is having a meltdown because his boyfriend, Michael Avenatti, got caught extorting Nike. Boo-hoo. Well, there's another case of someone who just doesn't like Michael Avenatti's politics, and then uh, you assume that because we have his attorney on, Uh, that you would be homophobic, and because we're talking about Michael Avenatti, that I would be his boyfriend. Just another typical homophobe. Is that a female, by the way? Or is that someone impersonating somebody else? Here's something I wanted to bring up, but do you guys think, what are the chances that Michael Avenatti leaves the country? Not going to happen. You don't think so? No, he'll have a bracelet on. Not going to happen. Too smart for that. No, not going to happen. Okay. No way. Uh, Maybelle Shapiro is back, everybody. The uh, woman who claims to be Brian's mother, and I... Which she's clearly not. ...tend to believe... I I don't know. She says some pretty revealing things I'm 60-40. Yeah, I'm too. Yes, no. Yep. Maybell Shapiro. Brian had a Michael Avenatti poster on his wall way before it was the hip and cool thing to do. Never had a Michael Avenatti poster on my wall, but I know you have a poster of me on you on your wall that you pleasure yourself to. Go ahead, Stein. Next. From Big Daddy Shane. And yesterday we were talking about your your bathrobe that you were wearing was from the Four Queens. 
I think you said you stole it from the four. No, points. I did not steal it. I, uh, that, that is that is a mischaracterization. I did not steal. No, he world. actually he actually described in detail the caper. Yeah, I did not steal it. That was that was given to me as a gift. Big Daddy Shane, the four queens finally repossessed that bathrobe. Thank God. I, actually, I love that robe. It's so comfortable. The only reason why I'm not wearing that robe today is because I wanted to show off my shirt. Uh, and I'll make this announcement on the show. I'm gonna uh, some breaking news for Vegas Take fans. Uh, uh, whether you're a fan of me or not, the breaking news is this: I have decided who I'm going to support in the 2020 election. Uh, I am deciding to put my support not for Donald Trump, not for Joe Biden, but for Larry David, the co-creator of Seinfeld and, of course, Curb Your Enthusiasm. I am supporting Larry David, so I bought this shirt that says Larry David 2020. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Who would his running mate be? Would it be uh, Leon? I think I would support Leon as his vice president. No, I, th- I think it's Funkhauser. Maybe Susie. Well, Funkhauser's it's... dead, so that's not probably not going to happen. What, Joey died? Uh, oh, you're talking about Joey, Joey Funkhauser. Yeah, Joey Funkhauser. Uh, yeah, his father's dead. Yeah. Uh, Superman. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think Leon would be a great vice president running mate. Or maybe Bernie Sanders. I don't know. Because they both are very alike. In that would ways. be wild. Yes. Larry David and Bernie Sanders campaigning together. That would be absolutely yeah. insane. Yeah. Go ahead, Stein. Next. Brian's teeth have turned six different shades of yellow and green since the quarantine started. Actually, I'm actually br- that's incorrect. I'm actually brushing my teeth three times a day. I mean, the, during a normal day, max is two times a day. So I'm actually taking the time to take care of a little bit more hygiene than I normally would, believe it or not. So that's factually not accurate. Intellectual honesty, sir. Next comment. Why is a Project X movie poster on the wall? That was one of the worst movies of all time. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? Someone named Michael. Yeah, and, and and Michael probably thinks one of the best movies of all time was that uh, Jennifer Lopez movie Jiggly. Is that, is that what it was? That's called Geely, Brian. Geely, Geely, Geely. Well, I don't Geely. even I don't even know the name yeah, of it. Geely. Actually, that Matthew Broderick movie is a movie that made his career. So what, once what? again, somebody making a statement on our page. That oh, I think a hundred percent. No, no, that didn't make his career. It was it Ferris got him Bueller's going. Day Off. Yeah, well, he I mean, got Ferris the opp- he got the opportunity because of because of uh, Project X. He was also great in the producers. <laughs> All right, there's one last comment on here. Campaign, I'm not actually seeing it. Maybe you have it up. Someone was talking about uh, uh, us talking about a Chinese Im- imitation or something like that. They call Brian racist. Well, I, I don't have the actual, unless you have it in front of you. Oh, some idiot. Some some, idiot. Somebody mis- mistook us for we were Rush talking, Limbaugh. We were talking about the N-word today, and somebody, uh, you know, a professional NASCAR driver using the N-word, and I said he was racist and he deserved to be, you know, to be punished heavily for it. And then I guess somebody on our page said that I made fun of Asian people, which is not yes. true. Well, I, I just, yes, it says, hey, hypocrite, remember a month ago when you played Rush Limbaugh mocking Chinese people talking and you were laughing your ass off? Remember that you're a piece of, and you're so effing hypocritical. All right, you're- so to this idiot, I get the picture. So to this moron, when I heard Rush Limbaugh, do we have the audio? Are we yep, even going to play it? Okay, so this is what we laughed at. This is Rush Limbaugh making fun of the, the president in, of China at the time. All right, you get the picture. You get the picture. Um, We laughed at it because, first of all, I was critical of it every day for, like, weeks, and I still will be, because I think Rush Limbaugh is a racist. And I was laughing at how ridiculous it is, at how ridiculous Rush Limbaugh is that somebody could be a nationally syndicated talk show host and talk like that and have that kind of hatred towards a race of people. So when you take my laughing as me being the racist, that makes you an ignorant moron. That's exactly what that makes you. Okay, we called out Rush Limbaugh. I will always continue to call him for his hate speech, for his racism, and that's why we played that audio. We didn't play that audio. And by the way, it was Rush Limbaugh who played the song Barack the Magic Negro. And me and Brian, we had a very, very aggressive confrontation about three weeks ago when I compared a rant he went on about Diamond and Silk to something Rush Limbaugh would do. Yeah, which is ridiculous. So you should look that up. Yeah, which is on on YouTube. Yeah, if you look it up, you'll 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 realize that JD was wrong on that as well. That was a very good argument. That was that was completely ridiculous. Rush Limbaugh is a hateful man. That's why he was fired from ESPN for being a racist. He's just a horrible human being. And the fact that Donald Trump gave him an award is not shocking to me because, you know, it just doesn't shock me. Hateful people give hateful people awards, I guess. But we got to take a 21-hour break. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, Sean Hannity is going to be coming up next tomorrow on the show. We have a very, very funny man. One of my favorite stand-up comments on the stand-up comics on the planet. That would be George Wallace. Hope everybody has a great afternoon, great day. Stay safe. Sean Hannity coming up next.